Since its opening in May of 2017, the new Douglas County Animal Shelter has made a significant impact to the community due to its adoption process and spay and neuter program. In 2018, there were 3,407 intakes, 1,465 adoptions, and the shelter received approximately 900 visitors a month. Several citizens believe their decision to adopt at the animal shelter was a life-changing experience. This was the case especially for the Orr family when they adopted their dog, Abby. Uh, it was June of last year. We, uh, we came and walked through the shelter and um, we, we got ready. We walked, walked the kids through and saw all the dogs and um, we were just kind of looking for that uh, through the window kind of connection. And um, we ended up coming back about two weeks after that to like actually meet the dogs. We weren't ready the first time we walked through to, to meet them. Um, and third time was a charm with Abby. The first dog we sort of met was um, really energetic and kind of knocked us over. Um, the other dog didn't really want to engage with us at all. And when we met Abby, um, Rocky was barely one. And um, he went to like pet her and he fell and grabbed her lip. And we all just kind of like <gasps> held our breath and um, she just kind of like licked him and, and went and laid down in the corner. She was totally fine with it. And I just looked at the volunteer and I was like, we'll take her, she's perfect. <laughs> she, um, she was just so gentle with the kids immediately. There was a connection, so it was pretty awesome. Um, I would say our house is full. Um, without a dog, it was really kind of empty. And um, it's, it's, it's full of love and it's really awesome to see her interacting with the kids and the kids taking care of her. You know, um, as part of our morning routine, the kids wake up and they give her her food and they make sure she's got her water and um, they love to take her outside and play with her while they play soccer, she runs around with them. So it's, um, it's, a, it's just a great kind of full atmosphere at home with her. So, the perfect fit. Um, the, the spay and neuter fundraiser uh, event has been really great. It, it supports the Humane Society and the shelter in trying to make sure that all, no pets leave without being spayed and neutered. Um, it's, it's important because um, I know with, with Abby, you know, you don't know where they've been before and, and what, what could happen to them in the future, but you know, um, thankfully when they leave the shelter, they're, they're really well cared for and um, they've got a good family to take care of them. The animals in the shelter, they just, they need so much love and so much. And it's, you know, every little event, every little bit helps. And um, to be able to take care of them and give them uh, a second chance to be with a family and to have that kind of um, better life after being in the shelter, it's, it's really important. And uh, it's very special, but it, it takes the whole community to pull in to make that happen. The community pulls together every year at the spay and neuter fundraiser party hosted by Douglas County Animal Services, Douglas County Humane Society, and retired District 3 Commissioner Mike Mulcair. Thank you so much for being with us today here at Douglas County's Animal Services building. You can see that we do a lot of things here for animals and in turn do things for the community. But thank you so much for supporting the building of this facility and the ongoing donations and support for our spay and neuter program. Mm -hmm.